Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter. I know I'm out of focus, there's a reason because today we're talking about a lens that allows you to get macro perspectives like you've pretty much never seen before. So, Lawa reached out to me recently and asked if I wanted to check out one of their, I believe, Sony E-mount lenses. And I've had this lens, which they make as well, in my cart for the longest time. So I actually asked for uh, this older lens that they make instead of a bunch of their newer stuff. In the description, I'll link to some of their other lenses. They make some insane glass for mirrorless cameras and DSLR. So what is the lens that I chose? Well, this is a 15 millimeter f4 macro lens that also is a tilt shift lens so there's a lot of interesting things about this particular piece of glass and it does something i've never seen before with any lens or camera so this lens is really three completely different things all packaged together um, let's go ahead and start by talking about the macro capabilities which is really where this lens shines traditionally when you think of macro lenses you think of shots like this really close up tons of beautiful blurred background and loads of lens compression usually 15 millimeters or beyond the lawa 15 millimeter gives you something completely different but still macro so here again is a kind of a traditional long lens macro shot and here's the same shot with the lawa 15 millimeter there's a couple things that should stick out to you the first is how wide the shot is and how close we are to the subject. So we're still getting that amazing macro look, but because it's a wide angle lens and we're so close, we're getting so much more in the shot. And what's really impressive and what I love about this lens is if you're doing macro photography or product uh, photography or shooting videos of products, you're able to show the item, the subject in its environment. So instead of having that completely washed out shallow depth of field where all you see is a flower or a bug or whatever it is you're filming, uh, you're able to show the environment, which is amazing. Another thing that should stick out to you is the lack of distortion distortion. Uh, 15 millimeters, you know, you can get normal lenses that won't give you that much distortion, but to have this lens as close as I had it to those subjects and not to see distortion is pretty insane. I mean, this thing is a one-to-one -one macro. You can essentially put your finger and touch the lens and still retain focus. Here's another shot of me just taking the lens cap off. You'll notice it's immediately in focus the second light hits it. So it's amazing how close you can get to your subjects. So that's a good thing, but also kind of a bad thing because I found myself constantly looking at the screen of my camera and ending up touching flowers and all kinds of different stuff to the front of the lens. So if you're going to be filming something abrasive or damaging to glass, probably want to be really careful when you use this because it's so easy to get close and touch the actual lens. But with this lens, we're able to kind of show the environment and where the subject is being placed. And that's just so weird to me. I've never seen that before. And just to freak you guys out some more, I'm going to go ahead and put this on my Sony a7 III here and show you a couple interesting things. Okay, so I have the Lawa mounted in the exact same position on the same camera and everything. I haven't changed anything but the lens. Uh, as you can see, we're much wider. You see my microphone and everything that was out of the shot before. Previously, I was using the uh, Sony 28 millimeter F2, love that lens. So I've got it mounted here. Uh, the first thing we're going to be able to notice is that the focus rings on this thing are just gorgeous. I'll go ahead and throw it way out of focus here. And it's completely metal, this lens. The build quality is incredible and super silky smooth. And the aperture is actually clickless. So you can very smoothly adjust your aperture, which I love. And as I get my focus back here, which is tricky because the aperture ring is on the front of the lens and the focus ring is on the back. So you kind of got to rewire how you think about using a lens. But what's crazy is the blades, the number of them. There are 14 blades on this lens, which make a really perfectly round aperture at any setting. So here you can see me adjusting the aperture and the bokeh actually stays perfectly round. So instead of having you know, hexagons or various pentagon shapes in your bokeh, they'll always be round, which is great for when you do things like this, which is going to be throwing this thing way out of focus and focusing on my thumb. I'm trying not to touch the lens here 
but you can see how close I can get. That's not even as close as I you know, necessarily am able to get, but it just goes to show you, whoops, there I go, the wrong ring, uh, what you can do. You do also have to keep an eye out on lens breathing if you're doing video with this lens. So you can see it looks like I'm zooming the lens, but I'm just focusing. So maybe something you could use creatively, but if you're gonna be changing a ton of focus, you'll need to be careful with that. And here's another example. I have this quarter, maybe not even a centimeter away from the lens. You can clearly make out how close I am, but I'm back here and I'm almost in focus just by turning up the brightness of my 120D light next to me. So look at this perspective. When have you ever seen something like this before? It's just insanity to me how amazing that is and I've never seen anything like that. So there are a couple other things that I really love about this lens aside from that amazing perspective, which is just amazing to me. You'll notice again, distortion isn't bad. If I get my face up in here, that's pretty good for my nose being, I don't know, six inches away from the lens. <laughs> so really good stuff there. Another thing that's very rare amongst wide angle lenses is being able to have threaded filter adapters. So you can actually thread on a 77 millimeter without any problems on this lens. And of course, that's not all. There's still more to go with this sucker. So we've got wide angle, which is awesome. We've got macro at wide angle, which is incredible, but it's also a tilt shift lens. So on the side of the lens, there's a little switch and you can turn on uh, an up and down motion with your tilt shift. So let me kind of get weird here. This is gonna look really strange because you're not supposed to do this with people, <laughs> but boom, tilt shift. Looks really odd right now, uh, but the lens is pretty much facing right, you know, down here at my tummy, which is not what you would normally use it for, but you can totally take this out, get really perfectly straight lines, even with a wide angle lens. Kind of to recap, I think for around $500, this is a great lens to have in your kit. If you just need a 15 millimeter lens for a video, this is awesome. It has manual focus that works beautifully and that breathing that I talked about earlier really doesn't take effect, you know, when it comes to the standard range, as you can see, you really only run into that zooming effect in the kind of the last little bit uh, as you get to macro land. So if you just need a wide angle lens, it's gonna work awesome for video, but at the same time, you have that insane macro, you have tilt shift, uh, clickless aperture and those large amount of blades keep it really nice and smooth when it comes to uh, the uh, actual bokeh of your shots in the background. So if you want to check out this lens and learn more about it, check out the link in the description. They're also working on some cinema primes, which is pretty exciting. Stay tuned for more lens reviews and lens kits. I'm actually working on a bunch of different vintage lens guides and things like that. So that'll all be coming up here on the channel. Otherwise, uh, subscribe if you want to get this stuff on the regular. Drop a like below if you dig this kind of thing. And uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.